What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is I Racing Roof Cup from Zolder. Yes. That other Belgian circuit. And yes, this track is awesome. I really like this track. I always have ever since uh first drove on it in uh, GT Legends. And ooh, car number 21, jump and start. Starting in 17th place because I missed qualifying. And that guy really is Really is eager to not go anywhere at all, I guess. <laughs> Guessing he's probably having a clutch pedal issue. But yeah, I missed qualifying by literally 30 seconds because even though I made a video about pre-registering for qualifying, I still fail at doing it, it seems like, way too often. I was close to losing it there. It's always great when you see the guy's hands in the car next to you counter steering. I'm thinking the 15 car just got a little worried that I was too close to them there. So just both down, but I heard contact. Yeah, Zolder is is really all about survival and high racing. It is a difficult track with very, very little forgiveness. It's made even worse by the fact that it's difficult to pass here. But you gotta be very careful in the chicanes you don't get a 1x penalty because those usually result in slow down penalties, in which case you just threw about three seconds right out the window. They're definitely cutting a very, very fine line around this track. I do think we have decent-ish speed this week, though. This has always been a track that I seem to have usually do fairly well. Certainly not threatening to win this race or break any lap records, but especially with shifting like that. But by my standards, I think I do fairly well around here. Take it easy here into this chicane. And typically this part of the circuit has been my best part. It's just convenient because it does set up probably the best passing opportunity on the course. There in that corner. As usual, this is a 25 minute timed race. Turn! It's a little bit of under steer there. Ah, my shifting is still, still wrong, and I know what I'm doing wrong, but in typical fashion, I don't seem to be taking the right steps to fix it, and that's one X. Very lucky we did not get a slowdown penalty there. You 
you can just see how difficult it is to pass here. We got cars, this conga lining around here. We are racing on Saturday and this is a fairly decent strength of field. I'm car number six at about 3400 I rating, so. Not the highest strength of field ever, but definitely enough that the competition here is not uh, exactly garbage. I'm ahead of Tommy Mackinac. Holy crap! No, no relation, because I know that guy was asked that on the forums before. And I guess it's even spelled differently, but yeah. No, someone's like, duh, it's spelled differently. I'm like, yeah, it's a Finnish name, therefore nobody knows how to spell it unless you're Finnish. The only Finnish driver whose name I can spell is Mika Salo. That's that's pretty easy. We got eight letters there. See, this is why you gotta be very careful. The one X is in the chicanes because as close as the racing is, if you get a slowdown penalty, you just. <laughs> lose all hope, especially with how difficult it is to pass here. And those rumble strips, they're more like ramps. Not sure what the logic was with that, but I survive. I didn't even flinch. Give that guy a false sense of security there with my screw up in the chicane, you know. He thought, hey, hey, I don't get a car behind me right now. Okay, maybe not. I seem to get back into the throttle too late in that corner. Sideways, why not? Really should have qualified. <laughs> really should have qualified, but hey, what you gonna do? I need to cut out the sideways antics. 
It's never, never fast. Little bit of aerodynamic understeer there in that corner. I did not think we were going to survive that one. That one was for you, Barto. <laughs> My heart is pounding from that one. That was... That was... <laughs> well, at least we managed to survive that one without a 1x. Typical Zolder pass right there. I'm <laughs> just going with the old block pass. That's why I like to short shift there in those two corners. Really makes the car a lot more drivable. See if we can catch these two guys ahead of us. <laughs> Just over halfway through this race. It definitely seem like we've had our fill. No shortage of action in these roof cup sprint races. Casual through that chicane. Always like that chicane. Just has a nice flow into that a long right hander. Gained some ground, it looks like, on this car in front of us. I 
Ah, oh, yeah, much better through there that time. Just trying to downshift too early. The GT3 cars have me spoiled. They really do. Ever since I started driving those cars more often, my blipping here and eye racing has just gone way off the way off the charts, and that's just slowing me down because of the fact that I don't have the confidence in the brakes because of the downshifting. do this. We can catch this guy. As if I stop screwing up. I don't want a Silverstone repeat. Two clicks rearward. Let's try and get a little bit more rotation into the corners and throughout this race. Obviously, with this car with the rear engine, the fuel tank up front. Results in more understeer throughout the run. Screw it, we'll take the incident. I was very close to getting a slow down there. No. Come on. Ah, that cost me because that guy just way left the door open there in that corner. It would have been through. Six minutes. Sure, we're definitely using all the road.
so we kept on the road through there this time. Notice this guy's been pretty strangely slow into that corner as well as turn two. It's kind of a mental note there. Looks like the guys ahead of us are getting ready to go to battle too, so we're gonna probably slow each other down, hopefully. Thank you. I'm gonna miss a downshift right as he leaves the door wide open. Once again there. Secretly just trying to give them a false sense of security. Definitely. get close to this guy, I can probably get a run coming out of that corner going into this one. He's definitely losing time in that tight right. That's 24 seconds. Gives us probably about three laps. Shift. Hopefully. And now watch, this guy's gonna absolutely nail every single corner. He's just trying to give me false hope. That's what's going on here. Okay, we're closer this time. Gonna have to watch out for the understeer. Don't want to surprise me. Turned in too early. It's going to cost us because we had a good run there. Right side. Clear. 
really had no business sticking my nose in there like that, but in the race you gotta you gotta go for it. Got lapped traffic. Oh, here goes nothing. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Ugh, there we go. Enough space that we're not going to need to worry about a dive if we keep everything going all smoothly. Which, as I say that, I managed to massively lock everything up. I will take that result. All right, there's the flag. I do think we had more pace than that, but, <laughs> right shot, did really well. but uh, well, when you miss qualifying like an idiot, that tends to happen. So I wasn't all that much faster in practice. So I was running low 33s, whereas during the race it seems like I was running mid 33s uh, with the 32.9, which. That's actually fairly close to my uh, personal best in qualifying, so not too disappointing that way. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> rough cup races, they are always fun. They are always fun. They never disappoint. So hope you guys enjoyed. Right, bye.